Hello and welcome back to part two. Our previous example, we had downloaded Ubuntu from the Ubuntu website, version 13.04, and in part two, we're going to install it to a USB thumb drive and prepare it to install on our computer. So let's go back to Firefox. We're at the Ubuntu website, ubuntu.com, and we're under the download section. And so we're going to scroll down. Remember, we downloaded the Ubuntu desktop and we downloaded the 64-bit version of version release 13.04. Alright, so in this example we're going to scroll down to where we need to learn how to create a bootable USB stick. So scroll, scroll down, and this is assuming you're using Windows, click how to create a bootable USB stick. You can read all this, it goes over the basic information of how to do this, but ultimately we need to download the Pen Drive Linux USB installer. So click that link. We'll be taken to the Pen Drive Linux website. And again, this goes give you an overview of how to you know, use their software. And once you scroll to the bottom, click download UUI. We're going to save this file to our desktop. And once it's downloaded, we're going to launch the installer. And after you've read and agreed to the terms of service, click agree. And here we're going to select the distribution for the uh, USB pen drive that we're going to create. And remember we downloaded 13.04, the 64-bit version, which is the second in the, the, choice of, uh, the list of choices. And, and if you downloaded the 32-bit version, you'll need to get this I386 version. Okay. Step two is asking us to look for the ISO file that we downloaded. So I'm going to browse for that. And I've got it here, 13.04, desktop, AMD64. All right, and here we're going to be able to select the USB drive that we're going to install this to. I've got only one installed, so it's my H drive. You might want to verify that under your computer, and for me, I can see that it's my H drive. Okay, I'm going to tell it to format it so that it will format it properly, and at this point, I'm going to click Create. All right, gives me a few warnings and a few informational suggestions, and at this point, we're going to enter Yes. So it's formatting the drive and it's going to prepare to extract all that uh, information and all the files and data from that ISO that we downloaded. And uh, it's going to march through the progress here and when it's completed um, we'll have a bootable pen drive or USB thumb drive that we can boot to to uh, install Ubuntu from. We'll let this go through its progress and when it's completed we'll be right back. All right, we've in finished installing our ISO that we've downloaded from the Ubuntu website to our USB pen drive or our USB external drive. Okay, so if we fire up enter, uh, my computer and we take a look at it, we can see that our pen drive that we selected has now had information written to it. And we can go in there and we can see all the files that the uh, pen drive for Linux has written to that USB drive. Now, what we have before us is a, a bootable USB drive. So, our next step will be to insert, make sure that our USB pen drive is connected to a computer. We're going to restart and we're going to go into our BIOS at this point and select that it should, our computer should boot from a USB source. At that point, we're going to boot. Ubuntu is going to take over uh, your, your screen and prompt you for the installation steps where you'll provide a username, password, select your country of origin, and uh, things of that nature. It should take about 15 minutes for installation. Uh, once it's completely installed, it's going to ask that you reboot. And once you reboot, you'll be able to log into your new Ubuntu desktop. So, assuming that you've done this, installed uh, the ISO to a bootable USB drive, successfully installed Ubuntu onto your computer, get ready for step three coming up next.